Student group activities can be great for increasing interaction and engagement in your classroom, but you want to make sure that when the time comes to actually create the groups themselves, you do it intentionally. Your classroom is filled with different kinds of learners. Some may be high achievers. Some may need remediation. Some may be great listeners, and another may be a kinesthetic learner. One student might shine when speaking in front of the class, and this one might rather have others do the talking for them. So how do we group them? Well, there's two schools of thought. Homogenous groups place similar learners together. This is a great way to differentiate an assignment among different proficiency levels. If you're doing a math assignment and you know that these green students are further along in the material than these blue ones, you can give the blue group an assignment appropriate to their academic level. Sometimes these groups might be officially mandated by the school, district, or state, as in the case with reading levels in some elementary grades. Once you get to know your students and their interests, you can occasionally create homogenous groups based on what they enjoy doing. This can be a great reward if you know that the yellow group loves doing skits and performing, and the pink group enjoys drawing and art. In a heterogeneous group, different types of learners are grouped together. One of the main advantages of a heterogeneous group is the potential for peer mentoring. In a group like this, a struggling student has the opportunity to work with and learn from a higher achieving student. With a mixed group like this, you also don't need to differentiate your assignment. Having students of different achievement levels, learning styles, and interests is also great for creating a positive classroom culture of inclusion. The important thing to remember is that there is no right answer for how to create student groups. There are times when a homogenous group is the best choice, and sometimes a heterogeneous group would be better. Be intentional and choose the group that best fits your classroom objectives.